It's the real word. It's the real word. It's the real word. It's the real word. Y'all the truth. You know the problem, but we get into the room. The devil watching, yeah, he always on pursuit. But Jesus is our rock, so we shall not be moved. We on a winning team, so we can't lose. We say facts, cause we hitting y'all with proof. Started from the bottom, now we standing on the roof. As God as our witness, we gon' make it to the moon. When you want the truth, the world be hiding it. This the real word, we providing it. We got Ace, BK, Truth, Rick Star. And we plan to make a move. We like it's Pixar We came a long way from the plantation yeah. We just trying to save your souls from damnation So if you down with the message Tune in every week yeah. It will lead you to the message that you seek uh. yeah. It's the real world Welcome to the Real World Season 6, Episode 17. Thank you for joining us. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting. Shout out to everybody that's helped us to get this far so far. Um, shout out to everybody that follows us on Instagram. That's at the Real World Ministries Inc. on Instagram. Um, also on Facebook, the Real World 7. The Real World 7, like the number 7 on Facebook. Also catch us on Apple, Spotify, Pandora, and SoundCloud at the Real World Podcast. And check out our official website at www.therealworldministriesinc.org. Um, I'm here with my co-host. Introduce yourselves, gentlemen. Um, you already know it's the one and only. Hey, I'm the building. I'm your Instagram. Ace Urban 11. If you ain't no 11, it ain't me. You see the drip? Hey! <laughs> you see the drip? And if you want your own personalized real, real word hoodies, email us at TV. At gmail.com. That's the real word TV at gmail.com. If you want your own special hoodie, just tell us what number you want on it and what name you want in the back. So we doing hoodies now. So that's another revenue stream. Check us out. And we got the OG in the building, original gangster. The brother made Crown Heights. Here to serve each and every one of you guys. Oh, you guys. Brooklyn. And we got a special, special guest in the house. First time in the building. Introduce yourself. Okay, man of God. How are you? I'm. Um... We praise God and everything that we do and say, Amen. So, um, yeah, yo, what's going on here? Like, I did not. I'm. What, what's going on? <laughs> okay. So introduce yourself. Yo, okay, the friends here, yo, yo, and I'm um, just chilling and we just talking. Like, what's going on? All right, Amen. so <laughs> thank you, thank you. So we should have an interesting show today. Um, yeah. so so first thing on the agenda, Bobby's back. So Bobby and Riley both. Back out of jail, shout out to Bobby, real stand up. Um, everybody saying that he ain't snitch, he held it down, he did what he had to do. Um, but but Sanders, um, Ace, <laughs> Hold on. Fresh, one of the things that they've been saying is what happened to all of the Brooklyn dudes, what happened to all the, the New York dudes that could have went and picked up Bobby. Why did an Atlanta dude have to come and pick him up from prison? What happened in New York? I guess all the stand up people in New York is sitting down. What you think? I mean, <laughs> when it comes to that point, I think like it wasn't really gonna be the New York people that pick him up. Come on, like Bobby, he already got the clout and everything, and then him being in jail, his clout was still big as well. He still had the clout. He came out with the clout as well, so he got in touch with it. You know, the higher up people, so. It's no surprise though those were the people that was going to take him out. What do you thought it was going to be? The dudes from the hood mm. come in at the at the at his stop and just pick him up? No, but the dudes know. from the hood picked up Raleigh like that though. I think he didn't want that. I think he didn't want that in regards to um, that avenue. He wanted to move a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's true. A little bit more, a little bit more cautiously and very carefully calculated. Yeah, yeah. But Quavo was willing to have that for the past six seven years <coughs> that he was out there too. So they built a relationship. So I mean. So it's it the Brooklyn is dudes that though. Um, I'm talking about the, 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 the Brooklyn rappers? I don't know. You, you see, and gonna... plus look at the other way. Like you ain't see that video where the body girl was about to give him liquor and then he be saying, mm, Yeah, because he on probation, I heard. He's yeah, on probation. Yeah, so, you know, he did, it's like, it's People really best days. for him to not really be around his homies too much. Yeah. For like the public image. That's you right. Know, 
when you when you if he's telling away his homies too much, we all know mm-hmm. what that is gonna draw more. Castle was a perfect more. example. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. like he gotta you know like you could hang with your friends, but like you know for the public, you know it's like you can't really be like that. Like things is not gonna be the same no more. Mm-hmm. You gotta move different. It's like yeah, they probably still your homies, but it's like you know you just gotta keep it cordial. Yeah, facts. Cause they're watching. That's a fact. Perfect. Yeah, remember, he's still on probation, so it's like, yeah, he's out, but he still gotta be on his A game. Mm-hmm. He could go right back in. So it's a good thing that his homeboys ain't pick him up. Cause if he really wanted, he could, he could have his homeboys pick him up. But this is not like getting locked up before. Yeah, exactly. exactly. This is you missed a big shot now. So. Cause people held, people waited for him that whole time. He yeah. had his clout. Him, him, and um, Kodak Black both kept on their clout for that entire time. Mm-hmm. And you made a good point about Casanova. Um, for those that don't know, Casanova's a Brooklyn rapper from East Flatbush. He's facing a RICO charge, <laughs> um, based on the stuff that they saw on his iCloud, um, stuff that he texted and stuff that he posted on Instagram and things of that nature. Um, so now he's fighting a RICO charge. So. On top of all of that, now, he recently posted that he's only an hour away from, from the city and no one has came to see him yet. Like, his rap homies, he's seeing a lot of people that's posting free free Casanova are not even coming to go see him right now. So what do you guys think about that? Like, people usually get love when they outside, but then once they go to jail, people don't really show that same love and energy back. Like, why do you think that is? I mean, for Casanova, like, when it comes to the rap game, like, I don't think he's really that big though. So it's like he's not really gonna Yeah, you know he get a little support, like, you know. You think he's that big? Hmm? You think he's that, that big? Nah, I, think, not really. I think he's big. I mean that's just my personal. Bro, like, if Casanova come here if Casanova well there's certain places Casanova to go to, hey, you're not gonna hear a whole crap like, Oh my god, you're not gonna hear that. We seen him one time on the corner. We just yeah. drove past. Yeah. And we just said, well, what up and kept them pushing. I ain't mm-hmm. take no pictures or nothing. But if that was Drake on the block, Oh, trust me, that's not going to be security guards and everything because it's like that's everybody coming outside their building. That's a, f- that's a fact. That's what I'm saying. It's like for him, it's like he, it's like he's in a different world. So it's like the hood love, you might get it, but you all know the hood love. They're just going to post you, like free you, but they ain't going to put no money on your books. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like you in the other world now. So those dudes is really the ones. That could really hold you down. But right. like, in that world, it's like, you know, like, they're not really here to help you. It's like, if you got bread, hey, they got bread, then they be like, we could do business. But it's like, once they see you go down, they be like, we don't know you. Like, But he's supposed to be with Jay-Z, the whole Rock Nation. Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Jay-Z's a powerful man, but <laughs> that shows a lot. Because mm. I think... He could have been out on bail. So what you think about that situation? I'm just learning what y'all talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. So that, that's the word. So a lot of people are talking about um, Joe Biden. So a lot of people are saying that this is his first full month mm-hmm. in office. And a lot of people are saying that a lot of stuff that he said that he was going to do, he reneged on almost all of them. A, a, a big one that people are upset about is the stimulus package. Then it's the um, student loan thing. He said that he's going to forgive the student loans. And Congress told them to do it. They said that through an executive order, he could forgive up to $20,000 mm. even without Congress. Mm. But Congress could could forgive an additional 50000 That's 70000 altogether. You know? But he hasn't done these things. There's a lot of things that he hasn't done. And a big one that people are upset about is during the time when Trump was in office, he put a... He put a lot of pedophiles in jail and then he also put out a law to like stop pedophiles but they're saying that Biden repealed that law so it gets a little <laughs> sticky <laughs> I mean he did I mean look what man. is going on in the world he's bro. Mr. Joe Biden like hi your kids somebody brought to my attention also that he didn't do um the the um he didn't address the nation because you know how they saying that presidents have to address the the nation after a while. Like he never did that. No, he, he, never, ha- he, he has. I mean, there's things that he has done right, 
and this thing that he has done off, you know what I'm saying? Um, which is a sad situation, man. So, but we as a people, we have to express our voice because when we express our voice, we we can really make change and we can really see change. Mm. But we have to constantly, you know, use this bully pulpit because this is mm -hmm. a bully pulpit um, to make change and to see change. I mean, and it showed last week. Um, last week we was at. Um, Shout out to um, Kenny Altador mm -hmm. and um, I forgot his homegirl's name, but she works for um, Al Sharpton. She um, works for Haitian, um, the Haitian American, um, I think uh, some Haitian American organization that um, that works with Haitian um, National Action Network, National Action Network with Al Sharpton, mm -hmm. and she's looking for um, leaders um, like yourself and yourself as well too, uh, just to speak against. Um, things that are not right, that are not benefiting us to represent Haitian people. But the problem was, was um, Council Matthew Eugene, you know, their funds that they give for like not-for-profit organizations. And discretionary funds. Yeah, and there's also not, um, funding for also businesses as well too. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately... Um, Misappreciation of the funds. Yeah, nine five percent of the money, you know, over a million dollars went to the Jewish. Went to the Jewish community. Mm. And More people not living within that. They district. the district at all. And the Haitian um, nonprofits only got fifty thousand total, compared That's to crazy. the million mm. that wow. the Jews got. That's crazy. And the Jews just taking all. And, and 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 I think you went. You spoke to them. And oh my bad. The Jew is. No, 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 you good, you good, I mean, I don't think we're against Jewish people, because... Let me say this, because, yeah, I did... I'm just saying Jewish, I ain't I did... Yo, listen... No, no, I'm gonna come at you, wait, 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 okay. wait, what to say? I was about to say, like, we, there's nothing against Jewish people, because Jewish people have supported this ministry. They have supported us a lot, yeah. It's a lot of Jews who support Especially the Jewish women, yeah. shout out to you, yeah, you know me, who you are. nothing wrong with that, it's just that, at the end of the day, you know, um, it's just that the mismanagement... Jewish, 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 exactly, the mismanagement of the funds wasn't given to our people. And that's all we're saying. We have nothing against Jews. But that wasn't their fault. That was his it's fault. His fault. And he's a Haitian man like us. Yeah, in fact. So he he yeah. no struggle. He know what it meant to be under the divine regime. How hard that was bro. and stuff like that. So he did it to himself. I agree with you, bro. One thousand percent. He messed up. He messed up. For me. One thing I was gonna say is I actually went to Matthew Eugene's office personally, and I <laughs> yeah I'm gonna put it on camera. <laughs> I I I I don't know if you saw this, the the. the the press conference, I called them my name. Yeah. I called them my name. Yeah. I, them, I don't care. Yeah. I, I, I don't walked care. up in there, and when I walked in there, because the Brooklyn Borough president had sent me over there, he was like, work with the local, local people. And I was like, all right, this guy Haitian like me, he knows. Mm -hmm. If I have the credentials for me to stand in front of you, you frighten on me, that's, that's something so personal. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just what it is. That's so fast. <laughs> so. So I walked in there, Jesus. and then they threw barriers in front of me. He threw his assistant, then another assistant, then they gave me one number, then another number. And I was like, yo, what's good with you? And then he had gave, they had gave me the office email, then his email, and this and that. I sent emails back and forth. I never got them. I said, okay, cool. I sat back, and I chilled. Me and you went to the Brooklyn Borough President office, and we sat down and whatnot. From there, I continued building on that relationship. So... Mm -hmm. The day I went for the clergy members um, meeting, because every year they have a clergy yeah, members facts. meeting with all the clergy members from different denominations. They got them all in one room. Yeah, facts. So they invited me. I pulled up. And I seen this guy, Matthew Eugene. I said, yo, what's up? He was like, oh, my brother, it's you. How come you did not tell me you was going to be here? I said, yo, I went to your office, bro. You gave me a number. I called the number. I never got you. He said, oh, my fault. I didn't know you was going to be here. I didn't know you was here. I was like, what you mean? He was like, here, take this number. Here's my road number. You know, sometimes in the office, they play games. They play games. But this is my road number. Bro. <laughs> so... So I'm like, yo, this guy. <laughs> so, so, so even to this day, they still didn't give us funding, bro. So when I seen the thing in the paper, I wasn't surprised. I'm like, yo, he did it to us, bro. Yeah, so of course he did it to a lot of other people. He did it to himself. So I'm like, this guy. And the thing is that, you know, he owes people money. And a lot of people, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when you, when you get into positions of power, you get to put people in position, man. That's the point. Nothing wrong with making money, but at the end of the day, you gotta serve your people and you gotta serve your constituents. You know what I'm saying? So he's trying to run for Brooklyn Borough. He's not gonna win. He's not gonna win. He's not gonna win. I'm sorry, he's not gonna win. Do you think Eric Adams is gonna win the mayor seat? He's he's a possibility. Mm. 
Um, you got my man. Um, there's another black guy. The black guy that used to be the the attorney. Okay. He has a possibility. Then you got also um my man. Um, I think it's, it's I think it's Scott Stringer. He's very heavy when it comes to the Haitian American community stuff like that. So him, he's a body. We just enjoyed this vibe. We're having a good, good, good time. So we laughing. And we could clearly see for some. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. So, so with that being said, like, um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see, man. We'll see yeah. about that. Man. What's yeah, man. On? Like. Yeah. I was talking to somebody Goodness. about that earlier, and I was like, "Yeah, like I want to eventually get into politics, like get political power." Because yeah, me too. And I feel like I did everything else already too. No, so no, facts, facts. No, it definitely. Would make sense. Yeah, I mean, people like us definitely. I'm, I'm with that too because at the end of the day, it's about serving the people, man. And yeah, you know, we, we, people. we got, we got to keep supporting each other. We got to support you, what you're doing, what you're doing. So I have a question. Go ahead. What does politic mean to you? Oh, what does it mean? What the word poly means many. The word mm -hmm. ticks means people. So it's many oh, men. Many people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 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 All you 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 you're public servant. Like what Pretty what much. he's doing, what Ricard is doing, what my brother here is doing. That's it. Yeah, he's a yeah, public yeah. servant. Mm -hmm. So we're serving many people. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. as God lifts us us higher and higher and higher, mm -hmm. we give back as so, he lifts us higher. Now as it relates to your personal relationship with God. Yeah. Now you said as God lifts you up. Yes. Now does that mean that God lifts you up or does that mean that God lifts no, the the, the 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 Bible says Jesus says I will draw all men unto me. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm, that's so you see the story of um, of Daniel. Mm -hmm. He was prime minister during the time of Babylon, right? Yeah, right. Then you see Joseph. He was a prime minister in no. Egypt. No, no, no. Let me say my portion. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So the more they lifted up God, the more they lifted him up. Mm -hmm. yeah. The more God down, lifted pastor. him. As well. <laughs> That's when you want to. <laughs> you feel me? So the, the 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 things that the more we lift up God's glory, we mm -hmm. uplift them. But when we get the praise, yeah, we give it right. No, 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 no. no. When man, they went to school together. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, when man gives us the praise, we give God the praise. We give God the praise. We we harness it right back to God. Yeah, so, you, you feel me? Yeah, no, 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 no. So, on. so at the end of the day, that's what it is, and. That's what it's about, you know. The mm -hmm. real word leads right back to glorifying God. Mm -hmm. If you know Zokal, leads right back to going for God, mm -hmm. and that's what it's about. So, like, um, business. so, so the more we yeah. shine, the more we shine. You see, because because that's what he does. Like what we've been doing, like for the past three, four years, from the time this thing has been instituted, mm -hmm. is we've been just lifting up people, mm -hmm. lifting up people, mm -hmm. lifting up people, so lifting up people. So people have the I am factor within them, the I am, which is God. I am. So when you, know you talk about say, people, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Now, <laughs> as it relates to now, we are created in the image of God. Okay. All right. So you are the God within that is within you as well. Yes, sir. That connection factor as a human created in God's image. Yes, Amen. sir. Amen. And so now, Amen. as you are created in God's image, God downloads in you. Everything that he has already worked out for you, amen? Yes, all of us. That's it, because we needed a human and a Godhead. That's a fact. To connect us. Oh, yeah. No. It's a fact. That's it. <laughs> so, what, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's all you have to say? I, I'm just talking. We're just talking. Oh, yeah, we're just talking. That's it? We're just talking. Okay, uh -huh. no problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like I said, um, going back to that, you know, you got to commend people like like you guys who are actually in the community. Like I said, you know, mm -hmm. it's about just giving back. And making a difference. You know That's man? it. That's what it's all about, man. Mm. Man. Glory. You know what's dope? Power spread the Yeah, man. the real world, yeah. man. Politics. Don't wait, don't wait till the funeral to start throwing rose petals. Facts. Yo, Facts. man. Politics to me is the, the meeting of the minds of two opposing sides that come together mm. and they speak their minds in order for them opposing. to... At, at times, yeah, yeah most yeah, of the time yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, he's right. Most of the time they're opposing. Right. But you know, sometimes when you oppose, it's really that you agree. We you're just, arguing you're finding where the agreement is you're arguing two sides and showing the people their options mm -hmm. hypothetically yes. showing them okay i got this side no i got this side it, it, it doesn't matter where but, but you the know people truth, rule truth will always prevail 
But yeah. my point is that that, time. that form of politics could take place anywhere. It don't That's always got to be a Republican right. against the, the Democrat. It could be two factions in the church. It could be um, two families going against each other. It, it could be. It could. Be, it could be two Democrats. Yeah, 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 it could be two neighbors yeah, going yeah. against each facts, other. Facts, facts. So there's all type of politics facts, everywhere. Facts. There's there's work politics. Facts. There's street politics. There's yeah. hood politics. That's there's a church fact. politics. That's there's a fact. school politics. Look, that reminds me. There's a quote that says, "Wherever there are people, there are politics." Yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah. who said that. Someone said that. Cause. Cause niggas be politicking. Shout out to Marcy and Lewis. I see you on the check in. Yeah, she's always showing us love, man. If you've been here since day she, one, she's been here since day one. We we have to send her a t-shirt one day, man. Yeah, she's always showing us love, man. She's always showing us love. She's always showing us support. She's gonna get up, man. She gonna get number eleven. She's too. always, 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 always showing us love. Get that number. Definitely, definitely. I mean, that's why I, I respect Lewis. Alexandria Cortez. I sort of cut your brother. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, the reason why I apologize. Um, the reason why I I um, you know, in agreement with you, Democrats, for example, um, Alexandria Cortez, who went to Texas, to you know, really um. I didn't um, go to Texas. <laughs> to really um, um, raise money to give to the people that were suffering, um, which Ted Cruz copped out. She went against Joe, she went against Joe Bi Biden. She didn't want to nominate Joe Biden for president. She nominated um, Bernie Sanders for president. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you could be in the same party. Yo, man. Still up opposed policy. Politics would be so tricky. Because it's like, you got, the, you, you got the media involved in all that. Yeah. Right? The media is, is privately owned. People keep forgetting that. Yeah, yeah. yeah but of course people will forget that because that's not, people. everybody's on their own world. So it might not be their own media. Oh, perfect example, owned. right? You know, Jeff Bezos, he owns a magazine, he owns a newspaper, right? So say, for example, he's Democrat or Republican. He could just tell his newspaper people to print what he wants. That's power. Power is the ability to make someone act in a desired way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, but at the same time too, when you think about it, like it does not make sense that that's how people are controlled today. People are control control. Well, what's the purpose of that control? Like, what, like just they're just controlling stuff. Like, well, who's trying to control what? Like, this the can we just live? No. For why not? Because there's enough there's enough wealth on the earth to sustain every human, but there's not enough wealth to sustain the greed of the wealthy. So we're talking about human nature, of course. Yeah. Okay. So the human nature is wicked. There's, there's people with 65 billion and there's people with not even a dollar. The Bible yeah. says that... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine uh, behold, the whole dollar. But they, behold, did my, did, did my mother conceive me? In, uh, born in sin and shaped in, in iniquity. Okay. Okay. And you say that to say? I say that to say that the actual nature of mankind... There's a... There's, uh, there's a... There's a... There's a I don't know, cause we we just we, we trying to get it right, but we couldn't just never get it right. Let's ask. So let's ask this question, cause we got mm -hmm. two theologians in the room, oh, right? Let's ask this question. Do you think human beings are the flood, are God's flaws personified? As in, we was made in God's, His image, God's but flaws? we was made in His image, but we're flawed. Like we're like a flawed copy. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like those T-shirts that came out wrong. You toss them to the side, or those yeah. shoes that that and that came off. So you. Mark them down 20%. Okay, that's yeah. a human. Go ahead. You wasn't good enough to be God. Yeah. No, I think you're thinking about the analogy wrong. In fact, it's just that God created you perfectly, but you as your own um, free will agent, because God created you with everything, every ability that he has, including the ability to choose freely. So as you choose freely, if you choose against his will, then that's you. Because he created you in God's image, so you are God in God's image in lowercase g. There's the God of the universe, but there is also God's image. So what's, what's God backwards? No, we're not going there. No, because what's God backwards? What's but that God's... only works in English. That doesn't work in French. That doesn't work in Spanish. That's not. That's not the point. Mm -hmm. What's God spelled backwards? Mm -hmm. Just if say talking, dog, bro. If we're talking English, then of course. Okay. Roof, roof. If okay. We're English, yeah. okay. A God spelled backwards is dog. That don't work in other languages, bro. You don't even know what I'm gonna say. Okay, I'm listening. And. Fresno <laughs> <The laughs> is gone. <laughs> Amongst the Muslims, right? Mm -hmm. A man that has lost his way because in the Muslim culture they they say that you're God, Allah, arm, arm, leg, leg, arm, head, God body, like God lives within you. Yeah. I mean, that's what they're saying basically. But a man that has lost his way, which is a God backwards that yep. has lost his way, has become a dog. A dog is the lowest level of a man. Because all a dog wanna do is eat, sleep, 
have sex, and chase his tail all day. He, he's backwards. He just runs around <laughs> in a circle. Okay, so, so in a sense, we're like a, the dog right now because we lost our way. But God saved the dog. Ow! God saved the dog! <laughs> God saved the dog. God saved the dog. No, seriously. No, seriously. God saved the dog. God saved the dog. Right? God saved the dog. God saved the dog. God did save the dog. God saved the dog. Hold on. What do you think about this? Woof, woof. Like, do do. Do you think? Do you think that we're like? The the broken versions of God, or like the imperfect versions of God. I mean, I honestly think we uh, like because I mean, He clearly made us in our own image. I mean, we was never the purpose. The purpose for us to live on Earth was for eternity until you know, yeah. Eve, you know, she ate the fruit. Then you know, basically, like we all, like I personally say, a man's biggest downfall can only be one person. <laughs> you that's know? real. <laughs> so that's, that's real. His biggest downfall, and that's I, real. That's what happened, and you know that's real. You man. Lost your, thing. You lost your way with God, like you put. In Listen, if you don't get your sexual, person, if you don't get your sexual energy intact, I mean, yeah, you, you have to be able to manage and discipline over, like, have control over your, yeah, that's true. your persona, your your whole. You know rhythm of things, but it was only the two of them. Like it was scarce back then. It's just me and you. What else I'm gonna do all day, bro? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was looking at all the animals. You, you ain't know the animals was getting busy in front of him. He looked yeah. up to God. Was like, what about me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm supposed to look at this every day. Like, yeah, she brought a lot of drama, but at the same time, <laughs> he learned to live with it. <laughs> he said, "Damn, he's right." <laughs> Everybody was having fun. I wouldn't have fun too. That's real. That's real. Um, you heard about the allegations that's going on with Governor Cuomo? Yeah, bro. It's crazy. What's going this on? This is man? this is a personal situation with me, and I be telling people this because I knew this in my heart, and a lot of people thought I was fronting or whatnot. Wow. And last year, I know this personally. My grandmother died in the nursing home, Jeez. and that was during the time when Corona, when it was like how. Um, family members can't come see people, or um, and then a lot of people weren't coming to work, so that was understaffed, and a lot of the old people just lay there. Like my grandmother, she had glaucoma, so she was blind, and she had a stroke, so she couldn't walk. So, oh so she was just laying in the bed by herself, basically, because she, she she had a cardiac arrest, like she mm -hmm. caught a heart attack, like she was probably in the dark, just laying there, got scared, caught you a heart mercy. attack, and died. Yeah. And it took them a minute to even find her dead. Like she, she was probably dead all night, and no one even knew. Who the, knows? The thing is that one of my friends, um, one of my friends' um, grandmother, she died at the crib, at the house. But the thing is that you know, due to the severity of them taking people, because you know, you know, they closed cemeteries, the funerals homes were over capacity. Mm -hmm. So like every like two three days, they the hospitals was closed. Was closed as well, too, which was crazy. So it was just crazy, man. It was just crazy. A lot of things that went down was unacceptable. Um, mm. Man, that's why so many things to be grateful for, so many things to be thankful for, man. Right yeah. now, they're giving $50,000. If if you got a family member that worked in, in the health um, in the health field, either in the hospital or a nursing home, and, wow. then, and then their relatives died, you could get $50,000. Like, they mm. cut in the check right now. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, like I was looking at the cool thing yeah. and his aides are snitching now because basically like now they accuse him of sexual That's harassment and now they and they snitching and love saying that he lied to the feds about the numbers and we see how dirty the Democrats are and they claim that the Republicans are the yeah, dirty ones. Yeah, we see how dirty the Democrats and the Republicans are. At least the Republicans don't lie about their dirt. It's yeah, their yeah, yeah, facts. I could always just like that. Though. But... You're right, but Democrats are broken. Ain't, ain't for we. That's just a whole game that we ain't a part of. That as people are, yeah, shy. I can't like. I don't like sneaky people. Mm. I rather well. just do it right in front of me. Yeah, man. So. But they know you know that though. <laughs> um, some people know, not all people. Some people, some people still believe. <laughs> God. 
What y'all think about this and this and this fake Chinese versus black war that they trying to do? Basically, they're, and they're saying that blacks are attacking Chinese people now. They said that. Yeah, like like hate crimes. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, believe that. I don't see. Coming from the streets, I don't ever see that ever being approved in yeah. regards to people from like the streets is they still go to the Chinese attacking side. Asian people. I really, I don't understand. Like I haven't seen that. Like I don't see nobody approve that us attacking Chinese people. What's that going on? Is it Chinatown? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you really think that's going to happen in Chinatown? Nah, yeah, because I think they got their own mob too, right? Yeah, they got yeah, their own mobs too, too, bro. Yeah, yeah. And they know karate and all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get yeah. that pressure point. They say, you know, you're yeah. on the floor. You was about to say something or no? So, the, so, so they say that black was attacking them? Um, yeah, they claim black people are attacking Chinese people, bro. Like, mm. that's what they're claiming. Right I don't now. think you would have touched No, but you know what? In doing that, very you very minimize the black struggle. You minimize the black um, experience within America because it's like, because we have been oppressed. Now, we have. We, and I was like, honestly, mm -hmm. we, we came into this because, you know, um, at least for myself, you know, my parents came from another country. So it's like, because of the work that the uh, black Americans have done in this country, have given me. Um, an advantage in a man, um, you know, the, the, the progress of, of blackness in the world as it relates. So in doing that, I think that you, you minimize the, it's like, it's like, it's a manipulation in the media in a sense. You say, oh, the black folk has been oppressed, but look, they oppress other people too. So that just completely disqualifies us. You know, so and and the, the, these are efforts that are intentionally placed that they, they are intention, intentionally drawn, you know, to make sure that you don't like 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 there, there's a blockage in the, in, in, the under, in the understanding of everything. Like you, you, you get what I mean? Is because, that politics for you? Oh, Lord. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that it's, <laughs> it is human cause, because because of, because of the nature of humanity and because of like you know the sinful nature. Like it is a is a, is the nature of of humans to to be, what? To, to to do all that like you know manipulation like like because when people want no like manipulations. What are we talking about? Black? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. You talking about manipulations, but what? No, but I'm saying. Manipulation. Okay, you know what? Just because you. Cause you talk, I'm <laughs> what y'all think about the whole Tiger Woods situation? Tiger Woods was recently in a car accident and he messed up his legs really bad. Let's <laughs> know, man. Let's know, man. Um, hey. I think it's very, 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 yeah. very, very unfortunate. <laughs> Um, By the Lord's mercy. You feel me? What happened? I'm, I'm glad that not. he's okay. I'm glad he's doing great. I'm glad that he's um he's the recovery. He almost died on the one year anniversary of Kobe's death. I think that would have been crazy. Yeah. That would have been crazy. You know what's so crazy with that with, 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 with that with that being said, man, shout out to um Kobe's legacy. Um, you know, he's transcended so much and um he's taught us that we could aim for the stars, aim for the moon like pop. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just, you know, really, really, really sad. Mm. I can't believe it's been a year. Yeah. He's died. Mm. Yeah, man, man. Yeah, it's a sad story, man. Yeah. Also, Cecil Tyson passed away. My condolences to her family as well, too. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, but on some positive news, um, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they're expecting a kid, so that's <laughs> yeah, cool. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, what, and, and he also said that, and, and he also says that the reason why he renounced the stones because. Um, he doesn't want to ruin his mental health, so mm. you know they violated, and he just want to keep his head with him, a lady, with him and his lady. So that's cool. Listen, I want to know why do we all put focus on these European monarchies and these old? Like, come on, mm. like we put so much focus on oh, Meghan Markle did that. Who, I don't even know what to put. Like, who cares? At the end of the day, like, okay, so mm. why are they important? Why? Why? I guess that's that's all American pop culture. Like Americans. American is connected to European yeah, because of, of the foundation of the country. So you, England and all that other stuff. So what language so are you speaking right now? We're speaking European. English. Yeah. Okay. Okay, English. So so right. it's like European. I feel like like European colonialism is such a 
demon on the planet, man, I tell you. So what can we do about this from a political point of view? You still haven't answered the questions. What politics is to you? I'm not a politician. What's politics to you? I don't know. So what's politics to you? I mean, politics is basically... Captain, <laughs> my brother. I think politics is like a, a circus. I feel like you know, the politics is a circus where, you know, you go to the circus and, you know, you... Before you, basically, you have a destination, right? You got the start point, you got the end point. Mm-hmm. And in order to get to your end point, you got to go through the circus. And the circus is the politics. And, you know, when you go to when you go to a carnival, you see all type of things that, <laughs> that, that catches your attention. But what an, to, what an analogy. Yeah. Why like, is the circus there in the first place, though? To, and to keep you entertained. Yeah, to keep mm. you entertained. Well, not keep everybody, strive, not, not everybody entertained. is supposed to make it to the finish line. Mm. Not everybody's supposed to make it to the finish line. Okay, I'm There's too much clowns in the circus. I'm not trying to be one. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, you got to be focused in mm-hmm. order to make it to the end. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you got those people out there, you know, that they're so-called teachers, Pat. Pastors, no, you know, that's true. That's and all true. that stuff, and all those people are mm-hmm. there for, for is you know to just keep you there. That's true. So mm-hmm. you, that's true. Keep you there, entertain. Keep you there. Yeah, and then by the time you know it, they are gonna keep you there long enough, where you are gonna miss your flight. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so that's so, what I so feel I, like. I, I, is are you telling me that sometimes that because of the results of you said to keep you entertained until you miss your flight? Yeah, I said flight to heaven. Fight your head. They basically pull you to the side mm-hmm. and you know, act like, yeah, I'm a teacher, I'm gonna teach you all this, how to make it. And next thing you know, the whole time why you think you, you learn this shit, you just missed it flight to heaven. You just like, missed the flight. It's like, oh, the reason why you missed your flight to heaven is because they pulled you to the side and you have no progress. Your progress <laughs> has been paused. Oh, you like, no, because you know, they were pulled to the side too. What? They were pulled to the side too. Yeah, but they putting you to the side. That's just the, 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 that's the spirit of inch, that's the, like a, that's an old ancient spirit. That's an old ancient spirit. We're still working. So why do you guys think that all these celebrities and rich people are selling off a lot of their assets? Like Jay Z recently sold fifty percent of the um, Armandale. Wait, is it called Armandale? Ace of Spades vodka. Um, we see Angelina Jolie just sold her wall hall painting for eleven point five million. LeBron James is selling a house. A lot of them are selling. Their I assets. think, I think they all selling their assets because like you know, there's big, bigger things to come. And I think like this new world that we in, it's like a lot of things going to be digital. So it's like people are investing into things that's more for this new world, and you know things like liquor and stuff. You know that's for the old world really, because hmm. like you know the new you think world. So? We, yeah, like a lot of things are going more digital. They want a lot. Of, they're trying to make this a digital system now. So it's like we got cryptocurrency and all that. So it's like I feel like you know the dollar value is going to be erased. So it's just stepping stones until we finally get to that stage. But that's causing beef amongst the rich people because Warren Buffett and Bill Gates they don't like. Um, cryptocurrency. They don't like Bitcoin, really? but Elon Musk just just invent just invested billions of dollars into Bitcoin, and they tight about that. They are like, why he's doing this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. 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 yeah, it's like they all know like they don't want they don't want Bitcoin and cryptocurrency taking over. So it's like if their people is investing into that, then we all know it causes. Other, but just by enforce for other people to That's invest as well. So it's like, you know, he just trying to stop that. Mm. It's like uh, other people go get, see the news and be like, oh, I'm friends with him too. So let me just go invest as well. So it's like, it's by like influence association. So it's like, and plus he's a powerful man. So it's gonna make the news. Yeah, they said that he has the power to to change the stock market just by tweeting something now. Exactly. Like say for example, that? So he's like Elon anyone? Musk. Say for example, we had a company, and then he shot them out on Twitter. The stock of the company goes up. Who, who, who was um? What did he start? It was Elon Musk, the official, Tesla man. cars. Tesla. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. He got the Tesla cars. Mm. He, I think he started WhatsApp, right? Was yeah. it him that started WhatsApp, no. or was it PayPal? I think it's PayPal. PayPal. WhatsApp is with um Mike Zuckerberg. No, Mike Zuckerberg bought it later. Oh. 
So I don't know who started, but that's oh. crazy. Yeah, that's getting to it. And then he mm -hmm. owned um SpaceX. Yo, that Zoom. Rocket. Whoever saw that that Zoom. He's eating. That stock went up, up, up. <laughs> Zoom is up. making money. money. <laughs> and it's here to Yo, it's the state, bro. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> using Zoom, dog. Yeah, so we gonna see commercials on Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. There's a lot of guys who became billionaires and millionaires. Through this Zoom. pandemic, that's crazy. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, dude. bro, it's crazy. Yo, that, that's how it happens. A Zoom. bad situation don't stop hustling. Yeah, facts. no, but everything is good or bad depending on what you want to accomplish. But this matter yeah. them now. Mm -hmm. and there's Microsoft Meet, mm -hmm. and there's Google. There's Google Chat. Mm -hmm. There's a matter of different other ones. There's still Skype, but people don't really Skype like that neither. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Skype was way back when MySpace. Yeah. 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 I remember Skype when I was in college. Yeah, scammers are still using FaceTime, selling dope on their iPhones. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and they part time too. So they <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I gotta go pick up the kids. Yeah, Mercy, man, Mercy. Mercy. yeah. Um, Donald Trump spoke for the CPAC. How you feel about that? Well, it it looks like he said that he might run again. Yeah, That's what yeah, they're saying. Yeah. He still got a strong fan base. He got he got millions of people behind him. Wow. How much votes he got in the last election? Um, I'm trying to find out right now. I think he could be president again. You think so? You never know. Never say. Him never. being president again just shows you like. He just coming on the scene like, y'all thought y'all was going to keep me out for that long? Because mm. they couldn't impeach him. Yeah. Come, come on, bro. He ain't getting impeached twice. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But now they're on something where they're trying to put him in jail and they're trying to get um his tax returns. Yeah, he's not going to jail. And number two, they're not getting his tax returns because they rejected allowing. Yeah, but he has some powerful lawyers, man. Yeah. He has money. He has money. Mm -hmm. Yo, a lot of lawyers just play on like wording and things and like the psychology of the humanity of people. You get Legalese. what I mean? Huh? Legalese. What? Legalese. Like that's the language that lawyers speak. Lawyers and judges, they speak legalese. But is that connected to law? It's like an old Latin language mixed with certain rhetoric and ideas that they put together so they can speak. It's like every field has its own coded language. Like, no, but there are certain, like, yeah, I hear you. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the, 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 like, so, at the same time, it's like, Jesus, like, the, the, this could, like, expand into so many different dimensions of, like, what certain lawyers. No, law, when you're dealing with law, are lawyers really that dealing with law? law? No, are lawyers really dealing with law? Because if they're trying to convince a certain point, they're tapping into other parts that are not law. Yeah, psychology, but that goes back to politics. It's two different sides arguing, trying to get the people to believe their side. The people. Who are the people? When you're in court, it's you. the people. <laughs> and that's why when someone commits a crime, it's you versus the people, or the people versus you. It's the people. Like, okay. generally, they saying that they represent the people. That's why you judge by a jury of your peers, the mm -hmm. people. Like we the people find joy of your peers, guilty how about the joy of of your of the common culture too? Because if there's a culture that's not connected to the peer aspect, then it's not. That's up to your lawyer when mm -hmm. they do jury selection, and that's yeah, what they yeah, do yeah. in jury duty and everything. When they ask you certain questions and they bring certain people in and out the room, mm -hmm. so eventually they got you and stuff like that. You I know? hear you. I hear you. But regardless, I think Trump is a shot caller. And we see Biden, he looks like he half asleep, so <laughs> this is what you guys wanted, so there you go. Yeah. I hope Biden do do that twenty K student loan relief, man, cause this <laughs> <laughs> school gonna look Y'all just win. Jesus. Sky what, whatever happens. Yeah. Like, whatever, happen, whatever happens. happens. Better cover it too. <laughs> That's a fact. It was not cheap. <laughs> 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 I'd rather that definitely than giving me the thousand four hundred. Like That's a can, fact. You can keep that, bro. Just take take my debt. Bro. They could they could pardon your student debt because it's federal student debt. Yeah, that's so, what I got. So he's president, so he could pardon your debt. And I don't even need twenty k to him for pardoning me. Just give me like nine k, and we good. Bro. <laughs> it's funny to hear the different negotiations that go around. 
So you never negotiate anything in your life, like your salary. I mean, I or think something? life is negotiation. That's just, that's just. I mean, every, every, everything is in a sense. Like when you think about it, so what does negotiation mean? You answer it. There's an exchange, right? A give and take. Yeah. A give and take. So it's like if if there's an agreement on on what the give and take is, then hey, move forward in God. <laughs> First, no. You're right. Indeed. So, yo, listen. Oh, but, but yeah, go ahead. No, I thought you was going to ask the question. No, nah, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, man. So, this has just been an interesting time. So, like, even to have this conversation to see where we started to where we at right now, you know. Um, for those that don't know the backstory, um, how the idea of the real word came, I'm going to tell you guys today. Um, so, Fresnel went to Oakwood and Andrews, right? He has a, um, a bachelor's in theology and a master's in divinity. So, after he was done school, he came to me. He was like, he was like, yo, I seen, matter of fact, the both of them went to Oakwood. That's how they, <laughs> they know each other. We knew each other before Oakwood, though. Yeah. Shout out, shout, shout out to Oakwood University. Um, so, Fresnel came to me and was like, yo, um, I see all the things that you're doing with the youth. Like, I think we could work together and help them. I came in. to you? Yeah, remember you came to my house. We conversed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, that makes it. Continue your story. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. Continue. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. if I went to your house, then I would have went to you. Yeah, you're right. Continue. Yeah, as you were saying. Yeah, so we met up. <laughs> so we met up and we spoke about it. And then the idea was, okay, let's start... Let's start a company where it's like we could reach people inside church and outside yeah. of church and also use technology in a way where we could speak to them regularly and not just preach to them. Mm. And that's where the idea of the real world came to be. That's real. But the day that we were supposed to start, Fresnel went to Boston. Like he he, he chose minute. enough he mm -hmm. chose another um direction. As the Lord led in that season. And, and Sanders showed up that day and that's when we had the first episode Word. with me, Sanders and Patricia Cadet, and it was like, yeah. why do we believe in God? And we start off in the basement till mm -hmm. we're here today. So it's full circle now. Now yeah. we finally here sitting in a cipher, what, three years later, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. See, that, that's, how, that's how the word works. The Bible says, so shall my word go forth, and it shall not return void. You having a field day tonight? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. a field day. So yeah, yeah man. Yeah. So, <laughs> I see. So we went back full circle, and I told Fresnel like, I gotta get him on the show at least one time. It took three years to get him on the show, but we oh, finally bro. got him on the show. Yo, Fresnel, listen, I haven't seen you for two years, bro. Get to see man of God. No, why? <laughs> why haven't seen you for two years? No, man, just this life happens, man. You just go. Just, yeah. That's just how the Did stars Did you come like six months ago? Man, I've been trying to like, you know, just like, you know, like say what's up, like, you know, hey, what's going on? You know? Yeah, bro, I haven't seen you or heard from me, bro. Yo, man, I, I haven't seen you or heard from you as well. You, don't try, bro. Listen, <laughs> don't, 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 don't do that, bro. Don't do that. And like, I, I, I want to make sure everything okay with you. Like, you good? No, I'm good. Like, man, the Lord is, man, I'm good. You I'm still, good. you still in Brooklyn, though? Where I'm at? Look at it. What'd they say? It was a song, a Rolling Stone. Whatever you let us hide, what's his own? Oh, oh, something like that. Yeah. You know, and the Bible right. says that be wary, for the foxes of the holes have <laughs> the foxes of the ground have holes. The doves of the air some like has clean, 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 clean my mouth was very close to your um to your aunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she. So what, so how, how's your mom doing? Mom is doing good. How's your mom doing? She's doing well. You know she asked for you. Let, let, let me know when I come visit. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll talk after this. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, she asked for you. Like, yeah, I'm like, he's good, blah, blah, you know. If you guys yeah. want to hang out after the show, we yeah. could do that after you get off the line. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I was like, why I want that? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah guys. Um, closing thoughts, gentlemen? Everything in life. Yeah, first up, closing Christ. thoughts. What is it first? I don't thought thoughts. Closing. I don't know what. what uh, closing thoughts. Like, what would you like to leave the people off? Because yeah, like, yeah, yeah. people are watching. We don't know how much people are going to watch. We might hit 100K. You never okay, know. Okay, listen. I came on this show by accident. I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm just like here. But what I know is that now unto him that is able to keep you from faulting and to present your faultless before the Lord with exceeding glory to the only. Who has got? 
Glory and majesty. Uh huh. And what does that mean to you? Break it down for the Yo, people. Yo, listen. Because not everybody's a theologian like you. But no, it's, it's not even that. Okay. Now unto him, to to unto the God that is able to keep you from falling, that is able to keep you in the place of of uh, uh, of do, 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 do. where you do not sin. Because at the end of the day, listen. You know, y'all not y'all not ready. Yeah, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. Part two know. coming soon. Yeah, yeah see. part two. <laughs> I right, just want to say to everybody, thank you so much for the support. Amen. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're going to keep striving and we're going to keep um, our mindset when it comes to togetherness and building each other. All right. Amen. Closing thoughts? Everything in life comes with a price. Mm, I like that mm. quote. Tell me you say that. Everything in life comes with a price, man. And... Like I said, you know, we started off in one basement, went to another basement, went to um, the studio. You you remember Big Jeff? I remember Big Jeff. Big Jeff fired on us when we pulled up in the new Infinity. He thought we had money, so he started charging more money. He That's pulled crazy. a Puff Daddy on us. <laughs> I had to drive around with the fold-up chairs in my truck. <laughs> and we had the little speaker and the four mics back in the days. It was struggle, bro. Yeah, it was struggle. We used to have the little camera. We used to put on the table in the library. It used to be me, you, and Pastor Pierre. Yeah, it's and then we met the girl. You know the girl with the yeah facts in the library. It's a journey. Yeah, man. The journey. That's and then the from word. there, we, we we went to John Spot, John yeah. Webbs, and you know John had. So John, John had a great time doing that place, you know, so and nice. we thinking for that uh, opportunity so and that good. time, so and then, good. you know, we finally had to boss up and get our own spot, and you see, we've been consistent, we've it's a, been, it's, it's a journey, man, it's a journey, you know, it's we have journey. to upgrade the mics, the tables, I will talk, it's a journey, and the cameras, we, you know, we even upgraded Everything. the merchandise, and to see it full circle, and to bring back, you know, the people, that we started the idea with and the people that we actually put it into motion That's with true. for us to all sit around this golden table and complete the cipher that in itself has been a blessing. That's a fact. So yeah, man. That's a fact. All things were together for the good, for them that love the Lord and for them who are called according to his purpose and righteousness. Amen. Amen. That's the same that's the same um verse that they read at my friend's funeral. So mm. RIP to Judith um McCray, you know, we we'll mm. miss you and you'll be in our hearts forever. So RIP to you. Yeah, man. So we thank you for watching the real world. Definitely. We close out with a prayer. Father you God, have we... the energy. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh sorry. Matter of fact, both of y'all can pray. Go no, ahead. No, that's fine. You can pray. <laughs> we just talk to the Lord. That's it. Father God, we thank you. Power. Holy Ghost, we thank you. Holy Ghost, ancient of days. God, we come before your presence and we thank you that you are God. We thank you for your power, your glory. We thank you for this time of conversation. Continue to rest, rule, and abide in our hearts, God. Bless us and keep us in all of your ways. And we thank you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. That name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 So we thank you all for joining us today. We thank all you that watched The Real Word. We thank all you that's been supporting. You can check out our official website at www.therealwordministriesinc.org. That's www.therealwordministriesinc.org. Mm -hmm. You can catch us on YouTube at www.youtube.com backslash the real word tv um that's the real word tv one word on youtube you catch us on um apple spotify soundcloud pandora um and apple podcast at the real word podcast that's the real word podcast um so shout out to all y'all that supported shout out to all y'all that watched us tonight um god bless and good it's the real world it's the real